to everyone. We have some new people, so. <gasps> new people. Hi, Natalia. Hi, I hear somebody. I can't see you yet. One second. I'm going to. I have to just join. want to see everybody. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Go. Hi, Izzy. Hi. Okay. Hey, Okay. Oh, here we go. Everybody. Okay. There's Dana. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. Okay. I guess it's 11 04. All right. New day, new time. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to um, Saturday Kids. I mean, oh my gosh, what? Monday Kids Art Class. Um, I'll just go over a lot of the new things because we have some new people. Um, my name is Natalia. You can call me Miss Natalia, Natalia, uh, Natalia Fabia. Somebody, I got in trouble. Somebody said that. And this is my um, assistant pair. Wait a minute. Terrible. <laughs> she looks a little different. <laughs> oh, there she is. She's on the. She's in the. She's on the screen. Okay, she's in one of the boxes with you guys, with her aunt. So hi, Parabo. Um, Domo will take over for you. Paradomo. This is Paradomo. Hopefully, she'll be. Domo will be as talented as you are. Um, okay. So for all the new people. Um, we're gonna start class. We do some like exercises and some drawing warm ups. I recommend a pencil and an eraser, but whatever you have is fine. Um, I'm gonna be using marker and colored pencil today. You guys can use anything you want. Um, you can unmute yourselves and ask a question or um, say a comment, um, but we try to keep it muted so it's not too loud. And yeah, so I have two computers now because uh, Domo doesn't need one like my other assistant did. Okay. Hi, Aubrey. Fun. Okay, wait, would somebody have a question? I think I see something. Nope. Kinsey's saying hi. Hi, Kinsey. Okay, I can spread out now and I can see all of you. Kinsey, I think you're at school. This is great. All right, so let's all, you guys are kind of quiet. I might even not even need to mute you. We're quiet because we're good. Oh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, let's first start with some shoulder exercises. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. And since we're drawing a hummingbird, can we all pretend to like flap our wings a little bit? Like really, really fast, really, 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 really fast. And this is good because let's shake out our wrists. Wrists are really, really, like as fast as the hummingbird. It's fast, 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 fast. fast. And now fingers, 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 Okay, that's pretty good. And move our wrists around. Okay, I think we're ready to draw. Oh, I see Ronan. Hi. Hi, Ronan. Okay. So remember, you guys, and for the new people, we um, first we do some warm ups so we get some paper that is just going to be like our kind of practice paper so it's not for our uh, finished drawing it's just something we can kind of throw away and just practice on so I'm going to use a pencil and we're just going to practice making circles you can just go round and round you can also Practice drawing something in the air without touching your paper just to get your hand ready. And then when you like the shape you're making, you can touch down. Now let's try to practice making some curves. And can we uh, try some pushing hard and then light?
I get something. Okay. Now let's practice kind of doing a circle and then like a somewhat of an egg shape and have them overlap a little bit. Maybe practice and see if you can, if you didn't push hard, you can erase. And if you, if you still see your pencil after you erase, maybe you pushed a little too hard. Now, if you're doing the marker, don't even worry. You can try to practice uh, just drawing kind of light, or sometimes you can do a circle and not have it complete all the way. And now let's practice doing this since we're gonna be drawing wings later. Can we just draw some like, almost like upside down candy canes? These shapes, you can go this way too. So do we ha know any fun facts about um, hummingbirds? Let's see. Did you guys know that a hummingbird um, weighs less than a nickel? Isn't that crazy? Uh, and, and that they're the small. What? Can yes, Parabo? Um, hummingbirds have to beat their wings 40,000 times a second. Wow, 40,000, 45,000 times a second. That's crazy. I don't think we could even, we even did that when we were practicing. No, it's not even possible for a human to do it. Oh, do you guys know why it's called a hummingbird? Um, because, because it hums? Yeah, because of the humming noise it makes. Natalia? Yeah? I don't have a hummingbird fact or joke, but I have a squid joke. Oh, that works. What What does a squid say when it's when it takes a long time for something? When it what? So what What does a squid say when he's waiting in line? What does he say? They better get cracking. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so once you guys have done enough warm ups, let's get a regular clean piece of paper. Um, oh, also, did you guys know hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards? Huh. I know, that's kind of cool. Okay, they can get... actually fly backwards? Yeah, I haven't seen it, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I... When they fly back away from a feeder. Oh, that's right. When they fly away from the feeder. That's oh, yeah. right. You've probably seen it go forward and backwards a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So you guys rem remember this is landscape mode when the, when the uh, paper is horizontal like this? That's okay. portrait. I'm going to do landscape. You guys can do whatever you'd like. Yeah, I'm going to do landscape. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So... Let's start. So let's remember guys, draw light. Of course that you can't if you have a marker. If you have a marker, that's okay. You'll just have your construction lines, but draw light so you can erase. And remember, it might not be perfect or the way you want it the first time, but that's why you, gotta, you just gotta practice. So I'll start kind of right towards the top a little bit, kind of in the middle of the paper, and I'm gonna make a circle. I'm gonna draw a little darker so you guys could see. Okay, and then overlapping the circle a little bit, I'm gonna make kind of like a weird egg shape. Remember, draw light, you can even draw in the air. That's gonna be the body. I'm 
I'm gonna turn my camera off here. <laughs> okay. Now, towards the top near the head, we'll draw a long curve like that. You can probably guess what that is. Tongue. The tongue. Just kidding. <laughs> the wing. It's the wing. Yeah, the foot. Just kidding. Okay, so, and we'll close this up and make this kind of a shape. And this you can do really lightly because we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna make little ruffled feathers. Do you guys know that the hummingbird's feet uh, they can't, they only use their feet to perch on plants and branches and flowers. They can't use their feet to walk or anything. No, but you knew that? Wow. All right. Okay, let's, we need a little tail. So from up here, I'm going to draw a curve and then another one here, kind of link it lightly. What? what else? Oh yeah, they also, I couldn't believe this, they have, how many words have no sense of smell? Um, so they can't smell feeders, that's what I couldn't believe. I thought they could smell the nectar or something, but I guess they have the good color vision. So that's how they know which flowers to go to. And maybe that's why the feeders are all colorful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do we need a beak? Where should we put the beak? Like here, maybe right here, no. Maybe like, like here, like a unicorn? Just kidding, okay. Um, they have kind of long beaks and let's do it right here, kind of in the middle. I'll go a line from the wing and I'm just gonna do that. And actually, if you can go see close, I'm gonna little zigzag here. Oh, wow. And yeah, hummingbirds drink the nectar found in feeders by moving their tongue in and out 13 times a second. <laughs> and they can consume, they can eat double their body weight in a day. Half. Wait, no, this is double. Yeah, double. What? Just like Parabo. What? With pancakes. I'm starting to think about what color I want to make this hummingbird. Okay. Now, hopefully you guys are ready. I'm trying to go really slow. Um, let's, I'm going to erase a little bit. Hopefully you guys have an eraser ready. And I'm going to link the body a little bit. So I'm just going to erase where the, the, these two shapes were. And remember, if you don't like the shape of your head, you can just erase it and if you have marker just color over it or start over the more times we start something usually the better we get at it so i'm now gonna link that you know what? i'm gonna do this with a marker why not sharpie and i'm gonna link the bottom here, almost made it just like a curved shape. If you want, you can make a little ruffly feather feel and a curve here. And I'm just going right over the pencil and I can erase it later. I'm gonna change this shape. Ronan, I hope your mom's not drawing because I know it's gonna be a million times better than mine. <laughs> Going over my beak again. Okay. And this will be the fun part, the wing. 
so. And this is one you can even change your shape if you want. I want mine to go a little bit more this way. And I have that line down here and I can even draw a light one to help guide me if I wanted. And remember we practiced those kind of curved um, on upside down candy cane things or side whatever sideways candy cane things. I'm gonna do that here for feathers. One, two, just keep going all the way. Maybe down here it gets a little more sparse. Okay. Oh, we don't have any jokes right now. Kinsey, our comedian, where are you? <laughs> I might I'm right have a here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I know. Why does a stork stand on one leg? I don't know. Because it would fall over if it lifted the other one. Oh. I know, it's horrible. <laughs> Why do hummingbirds hum? I don't know. Of, they don't because they don't know the words. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Okay, um, I'll try to think of some jokes, or I can, or since we have some new students, I can say the jokes I've said before. That's true. Oh, let's do the tail okay. now. If you guys are ready, and then Kinsey can tell us. Okay. Go down here and here. You know, okay. what? let's get some feathers also. So you can have it be more kind of squared or curved. Okay. And if people, for the ones who are ready, why don't, right around the armpit area, sometimes it's kind of cool to see that little wings that show, the little part that shows the bone of the wing. Or, the, I don't even know what to call it. What, the armpit? The armpit. <laughs> Have a little feather ripples there. Anyone ready for the jokes? Oh, yes. What do, what did tulips do when they're driving? When they're driving? What? They put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> Oh, that's right, tulips. I was think picturing two human lips. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, oh, we need an eye, you guys. Okay, so when everyone's ready, I think right around here by up by the beak, I'm gonna put a circle. All right, that's kind of big. I feel like their eyes are not that big. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's your bird. So you can make it look however you want. Remember, that's the cool part about art and drawing is you can make it any way you want and that's what makes it yours and unique. There's no rules. I'm gonna color mine in black and leave a little, see that little dot so it has a little kind of reflected highlight in the eye. Usually hummingbirds. I'm just going to put a little line here. Okay. And actually, for the most part, that's our hummingbird. 
other than uh, us coloring it in. Oh, you know, what? maybe I'll put one more line in between the beak. I forgot about that because it has to be able to open his his beak, right? It, it's not just closed shut. It doesn't have a tongue like over here with the happy face. <laughs> Okay, I think we can quickly add some flowers, right? Because the hummingbird's probably hungry. It says it eats, it can eat every what, 10 seconds? Minutes. 10 minutes, sorry. That's probably like some of you guys probably eat every 10 minutes. Oh, somebody's in a tunnel. That's nice. Um, okay, so if you want to add a flower, right around here by the beak would be kind of fun. Um, let me see. I want to see what I'm drawing, what you guys can see. I want to make sure you can see. Okay. Um, first, we're going to start with this very lightly. I'm going to make this kind of half oval, this like little curve, kind of like a C. And then two curves, so it looks kind of like a, a cone, like a weird, like an elf hat. Like a gnome hat. But now on the outside by the beak, I'm going to do some ruffles and you can make them look however you want. And make the that those turn that curve into ruffles also. And then do some more curves. I made I made the little pollen thing inside. Oh, let's see. Oh, now that I have this iPad, let's see. That's Ronan's. Oh, whoa, you guys, look how cool. Oh, you already did the flower. And you made the little inside, too. That's amazing. Can I see? Stamen. The stamen. That's right. Great, Ronan. Thank you. For shopping. Alia, can I show mine? Sure. Wait, who is that? It's Kinsey. Okay. Let's see, Kinsey. Wow. Kinsey, I think you're trying to take my job. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's finish up this flower. So I'm going to do some little ridges. You don't have to. And a few over here. And yeah, I like how Ronan had the stain, and I always say it wrong, stainin? M. Stamen. The, um, pistol and stamens. Pistol and stamens. That's how you know if it's a male flower or a female flower. Stamen. I have to remember that. That stamen. Okay, part of the stem. And I'll put, like, these flowers are hanging. I'll do one more quick over here. I'll just do it fast. I know you guys are probably drawing, but I'll just draw a leaf coming through just to show that these are flowers. Here's a stem. And let's make another kind of Let's call it a gnome hat. Let's make another gnome hat. And maybe this flower isn't opened up yet. Okay, I'm trying to think of what colors to do, and the hummingbirds have so many different colors. Uh, can I share mine? Sure. I haven't done the head 
color part of it yet. I don't know how if you can see it, but. Let's see, Valentino, is that you? Yes. Oh, cool, look at you. Oh, wow, that flower. Wow, I love it. And you can make the head color anything you want. That's super cool. Thanks for showing. Oh my goodness. Sorry, our neighbors are really loud today, guys. I guess Monday's the machine day. Okay, so um, how about I'm gonna start coloring it and I'm gonna use colored pencils and I'll just show you guys, guys how I shade a little bit. If you're still drawing, you can keep drawing. If you wanna, you know, you can keep adding to your, um, you know, hummingbird scene. If you wanna add more flowers or like a little, a cute little, I don't know, bumblebee. You can keep drawing. I'm gonna color and talk to you guys about coloring and shading. Sorry if our neighbors are so loud. There's lots of mach wood machines next to us. <clears throat> um, and after we color the hummingbird, I was hoping we'd have time for a butterfly, but we'll see. You can always draw a fast butterfly, like, you know, the middle. I'm drawing small like Parabo. What's she's not here, and I'm like doing what she does. This is crazy. <laughs> Sideways butterfly. Natalia. Yes. Uh, so this is mine completed. Let's see. This here's Kinsey's. Beautiful, Kinsey. Thank you. Cool. All right. So let's color. I think most of the hummingbirds I see, not that it matters, you can make yours. It doesn't have to be something you always see. Remember, we can, since it's your drawing, it's your world, you can do any colors. I'm gonna do some greens and pinks and kind of rainbowy, but I'm gonna show you guys how I color with uh, these colored pencils. You can do it with crayons, markers, anything, but what, I, what I'm gonna show you applies to like uh, colored pencils and crayons and pastels. Um, so I'll pick a few green, different greens. And first, I am going to just kind of pick an overall green. And I'm just going to go over most of the body. Maybe not his, well, no, I will. His belly. All, all right here, just not the top of his head. I think I want to make that pink pinkish red. And I'll go into some of the wings too, not all of them. So I just colored that and now I'm taking a different green, a little darker. And I'm kind of outlining a little bit and outlining the uh, each feather. And you can add as much detail as you want to this. You can try to make actual, you know, feather markings. But I just did that. And then from the bottom, I'm coloring. And some of you guys remember when we practiced gradation where we practiced going pushing a little harder right next to, going back and forth next to each stroke and then go getting a little lighter gradually. That's called a gradation. So that's what we're doing here. Going back and forth, kind of more condensed next to each of my little marks and then slowly I'm getting a little lighter pushing lighter and oh, yeah. my marks are further apart. Miss Natalia. Yes. Um, my mom's in Sacramento. Oh, she is Nova? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. Have you ever been there? No. I haven't either, I don't think. He's staying there for two nights. Oh, okay. Well, that Parabo's staying away from us for two nights too. And so hopefully you'll get to show her all your drawings that you do while she's away. You can yeah. impress her with hummingbirds and flowers. Okay, and now let's, I'm gonna go around here and also go a little darker. So 
I don't color the whole thing in. So it looks it's like it's called shading. So whenever something's kind of rounded, it's lighter in the rounded part. So kind of it'll be lighter in the belly. I might shade a little bit here too, just to make it feel kind of more 3D. Now you guys don't have to do this. Color whatever you want. I'm just showing you this little tip, I guess, or way of coloring. Just doing my drawing, Natalia. Yes. I don't want to show you her drawing. Let me see. Let me find you, Reese. Where are you, Reese? Hold on. Oh, let me see. Let's Reese and Dakota. Wow. Two sisters. Ooh, I love that purple and blue and your flowers are yellow and the butterfly. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, wait, let's see Dakota's. Oh, Dakota, I love your colors. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are great. I think the line looks the same like you guys. What? Let's, oh, let's see Braddock. Ooh. Green, very nice. Beautiful. I love your flowers and your little, oh, look at him. He's so cute. I love your butterflies, Braddock. Wow. Okay. So, oh yeah, I want to, I need yellow. So I'm going to get some yellow, yellow. Make sure you guys have a sharpener if you're using these because you, you end up using sharpeners a lot with colored pencils. Okay, I'm going to make his belly a little more yellow. His, I don't know why I say his, but I guess mine's a boy. And if you see, I'm, because this is a lighter color, sometimes when you go over something, it covers some of the white of your paper, and it kind of gives it this nice waxy look. Natalia? Mm-hmm. We have a bunch of in our front yard and our backyard. You have a bunch of what? Hummingbirds? Yeah, because there's a bunch of plants everywhere. Oh, I love that. You must have some plants with some, some flowers and some nectar. Awesome hummingbirds. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're lucky you get to see them. We have a feeder at our house that Parabo and her dad put up. Um, okay, so now I'm taking this kind of teal color. But yeah, so we see hummingbirds all the time too. They're so beautiful. Um, I'm outlining these wings. I'm just picking whatever colors I like. And I think you guys know, do hummingbirds um, camouflage? Ooh. Good. <laughs> well, somebody tell us, cause we don't <laughs> And outline this. And then I'm just gonna go back over this color. So yeah, colored pencils are great to kind of keep um, putting more layers on top of each other, the diff different colors, so you don't see the white of your paper, and then they kind of, they end up blending really nicely. So I'm trying to do a little bit of that gradation again over here. See here, my marks are closer together. And now here, armpit, armpit of the bird <laughs> is gonna be a lot darker. Let me get like a purple, something a little darker. And I'm gonna outline this wing. Cause it's a little, the reason it's getting a little darker, it might be there's a little more depth in there. Whenever things get deep, they get darker because no light is in there. That's what shadow is. Shadows are darker because there's no light. And if you want, I'm going to make little lines, kind of maybe showing that the feathers coming through. And maybe to, can we get closer? See, there's still all that white showing. I don't like that. So I'm gonna take a lighter color and go over the whole thing. 
and it kind of links and groups it together. You guys have a white color. It's always nice to kind of help blend. So there's still some white showing through. Look at that when you put white over it. Okay, I'll just do a little bit of the face and then we'll move on. And like top more bluey turquoise. And then probably my favorite color, pink. Oh wow, I've seen a lot of hummingbirds with pink beaks, right? What other colors are beaks? there? Beaks, yeah. Huh. There are a lot of them are gray, I hope gray, blue. Well, that one's pink. Yeah. Well, there's no rules. I'm going to make mine pink. You're drawing no, your rules. I can even give mine eyelashes because that is what I would like to do. And wherever you want to give a little feathery look, you kind of, you can make a little doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see those feathers. Sometimes, let me see, I'm going to get a green or a darker color, actually blue, and go back to these feathers. And if we really wanted, we can go back over and maybe make some feather marks. And I'm not even positive if this is what their feathers look like, but sometimes it's nice to show texture. And texture, you guys, we talked about a long time ago, but, but um, anybody remember what that is? It's how something feels or can look different. If something is soft or hard or it's like a different material, it helps show the material of something. Or skin or feathers or fur. And you know, I'm just gonna put blue over the beak also. It kind of makes it gray. Whenever you put two complementary colors or two kind of opposite colors neck on top of each other, they make a, they neutralize and they make a gray. Okay, so, but we've never colored in so much before. I thought since we have a little more time today, we could talk about that. And you can do this with any of the, with markers, with crayons, with, anything that you have. And you can play around and see what, how different colors look when you mix them. I'm gonna put purple over this and just see what happens. Oh, and you know what? Fumming, hum, fumming birds, I don't know what a fumming bird is. Humming birds are always really fast. So what do we, what, what can we maybe show? Maybe some action lines to show that they're going really fast. So maybe some lines like that, showing that they're going really, really, really fast. Maybe I'll color a little bit over it and go really fast so it feels like they're fluttering. Maybe like this, maybe that's better. <laughs> I don't know if I like those on top. Okay, let's see, how much time do we have? We can also color in the flower, but would you guys like to, um, like maybe you guys can raise your hands or if you want to unmute, if you want to draw a, a butterfly? Nova, yes. Uh, I see, oh, I see somebody else's hand. Okay. Well, I'm drawing, and if you don't want to draw, you can keep coloring in your hummingbird or flowers. as I keep coloring my hummingbird. <laughs> but I think it's fun to play with these gradations. Oh, look, you know what, really quick, one more thing. I'm gonna put white 
get my white and see if it'll make it a little lighter in the over here. A little bit. Kind of brings it, blends it together and makes it a little lighter. Okay, so you can have your uh, butterfly on the same page. There's my little hummingbird. And I'm gonna get my piece of paper for a butterfly. And oh, remember, uh, new people, we record this and send you guys, everyone, the video. So if you missed anything or want to go back, you can. That says it's recording them up here. All right, let's do a butterfly. Let's see, I had a little helpful guide. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna do a monarch butterfly because monarchs are really pretty. So there's a few different ways of doing it. Natalia. Yes. When it, when it, one time my mom, a monarch, um, a monarch went on her shoulder and it stayed on her shoulder for an hour. No way, that's really, that's good luck. So let's start with a little box. That's yeah. really cool, Reese. That's a, that's really Miss, good luck. Miss um, Natalia. Yes. I looked in my sketchbook and there was not any more paper left. Oh, okay. Well, you, maybe you want to draw a little tiny butterfly next to your um, hummingbird. Okay. Or on your parents' countertop. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> mm. Or even a scrap paper. That way, when you can remember just do a little practice and um, do it again when you get your good paper. Okay. okay, so I made this box just really lightly. You don't even need to, but sometimes I feel like this helps. And now right in the middle, just kind of guess, do a straight line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Whoop, mine was a little wiggly. And then another one. So it's like a window. I'm just gonna draw on my butterfly, not just like on a window, I'm just gonna you don't have to. No, this it's not going to be on a window. This is just like a structure to sh to help. But you can do it however you want, Ronan. So right here, we're using that middle line. We'll do a little circle just above that uh, horizontal line. And then this kind of weird, curvy, pointy shape. It's just to help them um, guide the size and the angles. But you don't need a window at all. You could just draw the shape and the shape. Once you do that, sometimes you can see the corner of my window here. If I want, I can, from right under the head, make a curved line going all the way or at least towards that direction. You can do that on both sides so they're even. Parabo? Domo Parabo? <laughs> Whoa, let's see yours. <gasps> oh, wow. You actually draw what we're drawing when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, honey. Natalia. Yes, TLM. I, I, I have to go, but I want to say hi to Auntie Dana and Parabo. Hello. Good hi. to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go, so I wanted to show you guys my drawing. Oh, oh beautiful. Thank I you. hope everyone's having a great summery day. Wait, can, we see, can we see it again? Yeah. Very good. Now you're allowed to go to work. <laughs> okay have a good day bye. i love you bye. Bye, bye okay so where were we up here well it's a little tricky draw a little curve shape and go in towards the middle of that second window curve and then see where it went straight here we'll go straight also yeah. But you guys could really do any shape you want. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just curve that goes in, and then I follow that 
horizontal line. It's like a little guide. I was like, I keep thinking, like, I need to pause this, okay? And then I'll need, and then I'll unpause it so I can look at it. I was like, I need to pause this. this is kind of Terrible. Like <laughs> okay. Now the bottom wings. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast for you guys. Well, from right up in here, about, I'll draw a diagonal like that and like that. Don't look at Ronan. Okay, and then we'll just from right up here, we'll leave a little space in. So right about there, I'll just curve it in and close it up. And there's the butterfly. You can erase all the construction lines. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Look at it. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Look at Reese has some uh, real butterflies, kind of like where I had my uh, beetles. If you guys remember my beetles in glass, that's really cool. You know, Parabo found a a dead monarch butterfly that she put in a jar. Me and my dad saved like a big yellow one that was on the ground. And oh, that's great. Okay, let's get some antennas. I like to make mine like. Woo! But you can do, make them however you want. You can, you know, practice in the air. You can make them go, you know, you can make them go out that way. You can make them go out like that. They can be really tiny. They can be whatever you want. I mean, when I was little, I used to make ridges on my butterfly. I don't know why. Wait, maybe I could do tiny little eyeballs. Okay. And if we want to make it look monarch, um, the pattern, it's all about that pattern. So first, we're going to practice these like teardrop like shapes. They look kind of like this. So we're going to be doing a lot of that, a lot of uh, this kind of a thing, rounded shapes. So there's a long curve, not all the way to the end, but like this. We'll do it on both sides. Let's see, do we know any butterfly facts, you guys? You might have to unmute. <laughs> they are insects, and you guys know that they have, um, that their life cycle has four parts. It starts with an egg, and then it turns into a caterpillar. Um, then the where it, when it's in the cocoon, right? Mm -hmm. Papa, I don't remember. Pupe, and then it turns into an adult butterfly. Okay, so now over here. I'm gonna go make this shape. And it's like following the contour line of that first one. So I just did three of those. You can do however many you want. Yes, Izzy? Um, do you wanna see my picture? I would love to. Let's show everybody. Wow, Isabel, beautiful. The Did you make a little heart? Did you put a little heart? Finger. Yeah, I put a heart in the wing. I saw that. I really like it. Your butterfly has a tattoo. <laughs> Let's see what else. Butterflies are transparent. 
we can see that. You can kind of see through them. Oh my gosh, this is something I didn't know. Did you guys know they taste with their feet? What? They drink from mud puddles. No wonder their feet kind of just barely skim I knew that. mud puddles. I knew you that. that. Who is that, Nova? Yes. I, you are like, you know so many animal facts or insect facts. And did you guys know they cannot fly if they are cold? That's like me, I can't move when I'm cold. And then the fun part around the edges of monarchs that tends to have like the cute little kind of uh, dots almost, it's that pretty pattern. So I can make it really simple right now and just do some dots. But you guys can play around however you want if you wanna add a bunch of like shapes around the edge. I should have made it a little more, a little prettier. But it's practice. I have to go. Yeah. Can I show you something? Sure. That was Nova. Maybe I'll do some along the edge here. Okay, so for the bottom wing, we'll keep it simple. We'll do one long kind of teardroppy curve going along the bottom of the wing. Oh, wait, did Nova come back? Yes, I did. Oh, let me see. Sorry, let's see, let's show everybody. Whoa, is that an insect playing a guitar? Yeah. What? Did he really know how to play that guitar? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you met a guy, a, an insect that plays guitar. Yeah, it's a real bug, but with a metal guitar. That's really cool. Thank you for showing that. Oh, wait, um, I think Aaron or Cassidy. <laughs> can we draw a, what is that? What's a lascat? A landscape. Oh, landscape. I would love that. A la I would love to draw a lascat. A lascap would be so fun. No, a landscape. Yeah, what kind of landscape? There's water scenes. Des we did a desert. We did underwater, but we didn't do up. There's mount. Should we do mountain? Yeah. Okay, we can do kind of everything where yes. people can add what they like. Okay, let's finish this up. We'll do two more of these guys. Two bumps there. Basically, you try to you try to find you guys. I'll turn it down. There you go. Wherever you see kind of the open space is where you try to find a nice way to make the shape fit of a for that pattern. Yeah. Um, I gotta go right. Okay, Kinsey. Oh, actually, beautiful work. Uh, never mind. Actually, never mind. I can still stay for a little bit more. Okay. I'm glad your boss is letting you take a little time. Alrighty. Look, I made my own little tiny. Let's see, Ronan. Let's see. Oh wow, that's like, so cool! I love your patterns. Magnet shape on the bottom ones. I love it. Okay, so I think mine is done for now. You can always add other, you know, little dots, little fun things later on if you wanted. You can um you know, instead make these wings more rigidy like this, or I used to go like, make it go this way when I was younger. But just so you, to show you guys how you make it look like a monarch quickly, because we have three more minutes. Of course, I don't have a black marker. Well, this is, I'll use my colored pencil. Um, this is the part that's the monarch part that stays dark. So as long as you color in that part, the rest of the monarch is basically what? Orange, but you could really do whatever color you want. And I would always do multiple colors because butterflies are transparent, but they're also reflective and shiny and shimmery. If you ever wanna make something look transparent or see-through, you add in lots of colors because that means you can see through to the other, other parts of the room or the air or the landscape or whatever it is. So I'm just coloring in the 
outside of the pattern is dark. Coloring around those white parts. I'm just doing this fast. Yeah, pretend you're pressing forward on a video, a fast forward on a video. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, so if that was colored in, that's kind of the uh, monarch pattern a little bit. And really, really quickly, if I did want it orange, what I would do is grab an orange. I probably would have should have done this first, coloring over this whole part. It's darker in that towards the center. Darker towards the center. And then I would take yellow and color over it. Yes. Oh, let's see, Reese. <gasps> wow, you already got the colors and everything. Reese, that's gorgeous. Here, I'll show everybody. Here's Reese's. Yay. Cool. That's big. Yep, we yep. love the patterns, patterns right there. All right. So does that kind of look monarchy color? Mm hmm Great. I might add more. But that's, I have to be careful because the black is kind of smearing. But I just wanted to show you that. All right, guys. It looks like it's um, what is yeah, been 12. It's been an hour. Wow, all right, did anyone, oh, let's see, Ronan, I, I just, I missed it. Oh, cool. I love it. Natalia. Oh, Bray. Oh, that's Bray. Oh, there's Buddy. Bray, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love your coloring. There's Buddies. Whoa, wow, you did a whole scene. Oh my gosh, You're amazing. Thank you. Cool. It's Talia. This is mine colored in. Let's see. Who said that? Oh, Kinsey. Cool. Wow. Gorgeous. Thank yeah. you for showing. All right. Thank you, guys. This is super fun. Thank you, Domo. Your wait. Where's yours? Domo. What didn't draw at all? Oh well. Hopefully next time I'll find my assistant Parabo. Here she um, is. She'll be back. Oh, there she is. Can you jump out of the screen and come help me next week? Um, okay, guys. So here's mine. Here's my hummingbird. And so I think we got a request for a landscape next week. And I love landscapes because we can add whatever we want. We can add houses, animals, cars, planes, bicycles. Oh, beautiful, Parabo. Oh, there's Parabos and Aunt Dana's. So we'll see you guys, hopefully next Tuesday, I mean, what? Monday. Okay. Monday. Monday, not Saturday. Oh, Braddock, beautiful Braddock. Look at Braddock. Hi, buddy. Hi. That's Rhett's brother. Hi, that's great. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye, Kinsey. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye buddy. Bye. Good night, Bye. Bye. Bye.